A disc is rolling without slipping on a surface. The radius of the disc is r at t is equal to 0. The topmost point on the disc is a as shown in the figure a. When the disc completes half of its rotation, the displacement of point a from its initial position is. Okay. So, uh, before we do this, okay, let, let, let me first explain you what the motion is here. So, see, we have an object a here. Okay. And what we see is the body A is rotating, right? The body A is rotating like this, or the circle is rotating like this. And slowly what we see is it reaches the diametrically opposite position by completing one rotation. Okay? Sorry, uh, not, not one, one rotation, but uh, by completing half of its rotation. So, what is that we've been asked to find out in the question is primarily the displacement so this is the initial position this is the final position therefore don't you think this is the displacement right so this much is the displacement that we need to find out this over here this distance let us say uh, a a dash a a dash now it is very clear from the diagram that a a dash will actually be equal to the hypotenuse of this triangle Right, the hypotenuse of this triangle, say A B A dash. Now A B is something we know. If this is R O, if this much is R, then this portion will also be equal to R. Or okay, let us not complicate things. Let us say that A B is the diameter, and since A B is the diameter, A B will be equal to two times radius, which is two R. But what about A dash B? A dash B now becomes a question. To explain that, I'll do uh, what I'll do is I'll draw the diagram again. So we have A here, right? Now let us assume that the object is moving towards the right. The object is moving towards the, it is slipping towards the right. So initially what will happen is, say A is here. After some time, A would be here, right? Maybe after some more time, A is here. And finally, when we stop observing this, A is over here. So, which means initial position of A was moving along the circumference of the circle, right? Along the circumference, along the circumference, along the circumference. And then it reached the final destination. But even when it's reached the final destination, it is still along the circumference. And if you observe well, if it is started here, if it started at A, it, when it ends at A dash, what we need to understand is it has actually moved half of its circumference, right? So A, A dash is actually half of the circle's, circle's circumference, which means A, A dash is equal to half into 2 pi r, which is pi r. In which case, what is A dash B? Now we can write that A dash B a dash b which is this distance a dash b is actually pi r so if you summarize the diagram what we need to find out is a b a dash what we need to find out is a a dash a b is 2 r b a dash is pi r therefore a a dash will be equal to root of 2 r the whole square plus pi r the whole square which is equal to root of 4 r square plus pi square r square which is equal to r into root of right r into root of 4 square plus 4 square plus pi square sorry uh, not uh, not 4 square so it is equal to r root of 4 plus 4 plus pi square which gives us the correct option as op option b